hello friends today we are going to see about applying styles in document yes in word document now what is the use of style over here you must have seen that many of the people like to do the formatting or wo formatting unhe fix karke rakhna hai they want to keep it as it is for every time so like when you are making a paper when you are making an assignment to us waqt aapko wahi formatting aapko chahiye you have to just click one click and it will be done okay so only your text will be changed but the things will remain the same okay the formatting will remain the same so let us start so you must uh, be seeing over here the styles group okay in home tab we are having styles group hamare paas home tab mein styles group hai in that you will see many of the categories as you will scroll down yahan dekho scrolling karne par and you will also get by this way also right so you can see just i will make a click and you can see the changes according to that you can do the selection okay so this is about it so let us start so first of all there are uh, the style is a predefined combination of various formatting features various formatting features means what you can change the font you can fix it your font forever you can fix it the font size forever you can fix it the color of forever for the heading or for the subheadings you want to give the bold effect you want to give the bullets for the list yes the bullets also you can fix it that you want to keep it the same as you want it okay so this is about it and in that also we are having different categories that i will show you over here right so here you can see the styles group in that you, i will show you the options over here um yes in that you can see over here that many of the things are available uh yes you can see the different styles here you I, as i will click on the type you can see the paragraph for the paragraph if you want to give the indentations then you can give the indentations uh, for the character like i told you about the font and font color and everything that you can do with the help of the uh, character and you also have the li linked up that is paragraph and characters both the things yes for both the things you want to give it the effect then you can give it together okay then we are having for the table if you are creating any table and for that you want to create an effect you want to keep it by default the same forever then you can go for the table and also we have the list as i have told you that right so if you want to uh, select the symbol which you want it forever to be uh, taken as a bullet then you can do it you can do the formatting you and even you can give the change uh, give the color for it okay so this is about it again i am saying paragraph for the paragraph right if you want for the paragraph indentations and also the formatting yes you can do character means for the text okay linked up means both the things that is paragraph and characters and table means for the table if you want to apply any styles then you can apply the styles and for the list that you know bullets and numbering okay so let us start so first of all we will just apply the styles which are given in the group okay so we'll just go for it you can see your different styles i'll just click on any of the styles and i'll write you can see the things are going according to what we have done the selections okay you can see according to that i'll just make it somewhat zoom over here so you can uh, see that things properly okay uh next after that i want to apply another one i'll just try it just see here this is for heading for the heading i want to go or for the intents you just see okay you can see intents quotes for that if you want to give uh that also you can do uh, many of the book publishers they follow one only the format so they uh, for them also it is very useful okay and even for the project work if you are making any projects then for that also you can follow the format the same format if you want it forever okay so it may be professionalized over there now after applying from the styles group now we are going to see apply the styles from the styles pane right so here we will just click over here and you can see your uh, different styles you can see over here i will just click here apply the styles right and in that okay now what we are having over here 
in the styles group you are having the styles pane that as i have shown you over here right different styles which i have selected okay now we are going to see that how to apply your own style if you want to create your own style then how you can do it so let us start so first of all i'll go for create a new style as i will click on it i will give the name to my style that is like rachna okay i will give my name over there okay now modify what i want to do the modification so i want to give the not the quotations i want to give a normal right and in that i want to give instead of calibri i want to go with monotype corsiva you can see the preview with that okay and then the color i want to select the color for that i can select the colors for it okay i can give bold effect i can go for latin or complex center alignment okay whichever the indentations if you want to give the indentations you can give it okay you can see here the line spacing i have given now this is for the indentation right you can see the indentations over here okay now after selecting that what you are having over here you can see add to the styles gallery or automatically it may be updated only in this document and that all so i will explain you add to the styles gallery means which you are having in this gallery there you want to add it yes you can add it okay automatically it may update means whenever you do the changes that may be updated over here only in this document means in this document where you are working okay so for that it will do the changes or it will apply that style and new documents based on this template means uh, on this template whatever the template you have selected and the style you are given on that basis you want to go for a new document yes you can go here you can see the format in that many of the options are given you can select uh, the text effect if you want to give the text effect the fill color as i have told you already next you can see about the paragraph you can see the borders if you want to give the borders you can give the borders box style if you want shadow you want okay so you can give it okay and even you can select the borders which you wanted okay so you understand about it if you don't want it then you can go back and you can remove it yes i don't want the paragraph border i'll just go for the borders and i'll go for none so it is done okay then yes i have clicked on okay you can see the change yes you can see the change okay you can see your uh, my name with that it is coming and now when i'll write it okay so it will change okay so this is about it okay now the next thing that we can see over there that is modifying yes if you want to do the modification over there you can do the modifications right so i'll just click over here you can see that here we have the option you can see the option new style then you have style inspector and managing the styles okay now i want to do the modifications so here apply style and in that modify okay so you want to modify the color i want to modify the color i want to give the brown color over there okay you just see the color is applied okay modify again i want to change the color over here again i am going with the blue color okay and then i want to change the size of it done okay so this way you can do the changes you can do the modification in this style and it will be also be updated as i have told you that it may be matched according to it and it will be updated okay apply styles in that reapply or you want to manage it you want to go to the styles and you want to take any of it yes you can do it. next now we are going to see that importing a style from another document if you have done in any of the document and you want to import it what we will do we will click over here right and we will go for create new styles okay just uh, go over here that. 
new style okay new style we are having over there right you will see importing styles from another document right so yes we will do that thing see over here the managing the styles so we'll just go back over here manage the styles okay and in that you will select the style which you wanted okay will select any of the styles okay and then import or export you can see the option over there right import right paragraph font you want to select whatever you want to select you can copy normal i want to copy it copy then it will ask that whether you want to overwrite or you wish to overwrite yes to only one or you want to apply to all so that also you can do it okay so this is about it okay now changing the styles means in the set okay here there is different over here the appearance so i'll just click otherwise there is one a style it is given the change style over there okay so apply style you can see over there the style set you can change it okay you can see your different styles are given you can go for any of it okay and even you can select the option which you wanted which you recommended okay so this is about it hope you all have understand thank you